Film title design evolved as a form of experimental filmmaking within the realm of commercial motion pictures. The origin of film titles can be traced back to the dawn of the silent film era, where credit sequences were presented on title cards containing text. They were often inserted throughout the film to maintain story flow. The title cards consisted of hand-drawn lettering superimposed on a black background, and these were sometimes embellished with decorative outlines or other design flourishes or font choices that reflected the genre of the film. For example, large distressed block letters equals horror. Elegant cursive script equals romance. However, movie titles evolved as the technology of cinematic storytelling evolved. The opening credits are now understood to be crucial in creating the context of a film and to establish expectation about its atmosphere and tone. As the legendary film editor and sound designer Walter Murch observes, the title sequence of a film is like the frame around a painting. It should enhance and comment on what is inside, alerting and sensitising the viewer to the emotional tones, the story ideas and the visual style which will be found in the work itself. In the 1940s, B-movies and experimental filmmakers such as Jean Cocteau began to incorporate more elaborate design and storytelling into their title sequences. Here we're looking at Cocteau's La Belle et la Bête from 1946, in which the director Cocteau himself draws the film titles onto a chalkboard and addresses the audience directly, indicating not only an authorial control over the story that's to follow, but also conveying a sense of the artistry and a direct connection of the artist to the viewer. The title sequence breaks numerous expectations and enables Cocteau to reset viewer expectations from the very outset of the film. But it wasn't until the emergence of a few key designers like Saul Bass, Pablo Ferro, Morris Binder, that movie title sequences became the film before the film. In the next series of lectures, we'll look at B-movie titles from the 1940s and 1950s. And then in later lectures, we'll look at a few film title designers who totally changed the landscape of dynamic media design forever.